everyone, this is Jay Keeps here in the 710 Studios. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving weekend. I know I did. Great food, great time with the family. Oh, and the Seahawks got an amazing win at Carolina that put them in the driver's seat in the wildcard race. Now, in order to do that, they had to convert. They had to get themselves in field goal range at the end of the game, and Russell Wilson once again delivered. And we're going to diagnose the final play that led to the Janikowski field goal. Now, going into this, there's multiple things that happened within this play that just fired me up. So let's dive right into it. So, score is, here's the situation. The score is 27-27, uh, a minute 17 left to go in the fourth quarter. It's third and five. Have to move the chains in order to get ourselves in better field goal range, better opportunity for, for Sebastian Janikowski. Um, and, and typically what you would see here is, is you're going to play at the sticks. You're going to play to just try and get five yards, six yards to move the chains. But what the Seahawks did is they went, they went in attack mode and it paid off for them in a big, big way. So. What we have here is the Seahawks lined up in trip, trips right formation, uh, and, and Carolina comes out, and initially when Seattle comes out and lines up in the line of scrimmage, you can see that there's lots of confusion here by Carolina. They were not set and ready to go. I think probably what happened is that the defensive play caller just got the play call in late, uh, which, which got Carolina uh, in, in reaction mode instead of lining up in their true defense. Uh, but once the ball was snapped, Seattle ran a, a all-go concept with stop routes on the outside. So what they did here was they had Ed Dixon. He's just going to run a seam trying to get to the other side. Doug Baldwin's going to run a seam, try and take uh, advantage of this area of the field right here uh, and, and then you've got David Moore running a 10-yard uh, stop route and Tyler Lockett running a 10-yard stop route which is what is cool about this play is that this play just the the way they attacked this play didn't just happen in that moment they prepared Russell Wilson post game talked about this particular play and we'll get into it at the end of here um, so what happens here is Carolina runs cover three uh, they they simply just uh, rush four and they play cover three behind it now what most people don't understand is that cover three there's multiple ways to run different coverages and, and it's all based off of scheme so the way Carolina in their scheme, the way they play cover three is they're going to play overlap, meaning that this corner right here is going to try and overlap and try and take away this seam. So he's going to keep his eyes towards Russell Wilson, and if Tyler Lockett stays here, he's not going to uh, sit on his back foot and try and drive that. What he's going to do is he's going to continue to drop and take the deep third of the field, and he's going to try and overlap and try and rob the seam route by Doug Baldwin. In doing so, now this uh, nickel defender now has the flat. So he is running to try and take away Tyler Lockett. So again, they're trying to work in combination. Hey, I'm going to take your seam and you're going to take my stop route. So now, with that being said, the Seahawks were prepared for this. Now, the other thing that was underrated about this play was the protection. The protection was phenomenal, and the way Russell Wilson manipulated the pocket was beautiful. Russell Wilson, to this so far this season, according to ESPN Stats and Info, he is top 10 in the league passing from within the pocket. And, and the reason why that is is because what he's able to do if the Seahawks offensive line gives him space, not, not necessarily a clean pocket, because as you can see in this next clip, uh, J.R. Sweezy, uh, Carolina runs a, a twist and a stunt, and J.R. Sweezy's late to get to it, and so you got some pressure here on Russell Wilson's face. But what Russ does is he doesn't just take off and panic. He, no, what he does is he keeps his base, and he simply slides. He simply slides to get himself away from pressure, and now, as you can see, there's all sorts of space and room for him to throw the ball and look downfield. Now, as we go to look at the sideline view of this, is Russell, yes, he, he avoided the rush, and now look at this beautiful pocket that we have here. Uh, Russell Wilson post-game talked about this particular play and that him and Tyler Lockett, during practice, prepared for this exact situation. If Carolina was going to play overlap coverage on cover three, like they did here, 
uh, Tyler Lockett was going to make an adjustment if he didn't get the ball right away. And what happens here is, like I said, the corner originally overlaps and tries to take away the seam from Doug. The linebacker, the nickel defender, now runs with Tyler and is trying to take away the flat, which vacates all of this space here. And so what Tyler simply does is after he's run his 10-yard stop, he didn't get the ball originally, so now he turns it upfield, and, and now they're playing backyard football with a plan. And Russell Wilson and Tyler Lockett are on the same page. Russell sees it. He throws a beautiful strike uh, to Tyler Lockett in this space here, converting on third and five, not just throwing for the sticks, but attacking and again, allowing the preparation during the week, film study and in practice, follow through into the game.